Welcome to the first episode of Quick Stop Photoshop, where I'll be covering photography tips in five minutes or less. So today we're going to start with something a little bit simple here. I'm going to show you guys how to export images from Lightroom into Photoshop for editing and then back into Lightroom. That last part's a little bit, it's more automatic. So the reason why I do this is I like to start in Lightroom. It's great for cataloging your photos and organizing them in dated folders. Also, you can take the raw photo and you can do some adjustments to get that photo optimized before you jump on over to Photoshop to do more advanced editing techniques. Now, when you export from Lightroom into Photoshop, Lightroom keeps track or links that photograph when it goes over to Photoshop. So, we're going to talk about the settings in a little bit, but let's just say we export to Photoshop in a TIFF. That TIFF populates in Lightroom as well, and those are mirroring each other. So any edits you make over in Photoshop show up on that TIFF in Lightroom. Then when you're done in Photoshop, you can pop over back over to Lightroom, make any final adjustments on that TIFF, and then export it using Lightroom's awesome export features. And you can do any additional sharpening. I do like Lightroom sharpening a bit better than Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to be working on this photograph here. Before we export it into Photoshop, let's jump up to the settings here. We're going to go to Lightroom Classic, the Preferences, and then we're going to move over to External Editing here. So we can see here, Edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019, that's the one that I have installed on my computer. So this auto-populates if you have Photoshop on your computer. <clears throat> so we have two file formats, we have the PSD and the TIFF. I like to use the TIFF, it's a smaller uh, file size PSD allows you to save up to like 10 gigabytes, I believe. So it's good if you have a ton of layers and you don't want to compress anything. I'm kind of a destructive editor, editor, editor. I just I, I process photos destructively, so uh, they get pretty big, and I just smash them down into some merge visibles. So I like to edit in TIFF. We want to make sure our color space here is in Pro Photo RGB. That is the native color space that Lightroom works in, so we want those to match up. So this changes to that. The bit depth, we're going to work in 16 bits. The other option is 8 bits. Now what this is, is it's the amount of tones that you have. So let's take red for example. You have black on one edge, and then white on the other edge, and then dark red all the way up to light red, and there's this gradient. So if you have 16 bits, you have many, many more, and I don't know the numbers, it's in the tens of thousands, tonal bits along that gradient, where 8, I think you have 254 bits, so it's much more of a coarse uh, adjustment. You don't get as many tones and colors. So we want to do 16 bits. Resolution 240 is good, and then I don't worry about this last one, just keep it at zip. So now that we have our settings set, we're going to right-click on the photo once we're done editing in Lightroom, and we're going to do Edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. So now I'm not touching anything. It's automatically opening Photoshop which is going to open that file or that image and here we go now this is a TIFF now just for an example let's uh, let's do something to this so I've got it set on this lime green brush and I'm just gonna paint on my image here and then we're gonna command save or control save and you'll see down here that it's saving and now let's jump back over to Lightroom and here you see we have our original raw and now we have our TIFF which has that beautiful painted uh, lime green light bleed on it. And then once we're done with Photoshop, we've got our TIFF here and we can do our typical export stuff and I'll cover that in another video. Alright guys, thanks for checking in and I'll see you next time.